This period brought to you by the all-new Toyota Highlander. One look and you'll want to know more. The fabulous day to be outdoors on the West Coast, but indoors move now as 1970 expansion cousins hook up the Canucks and the Sabres. The Panthers are looking for consecutive wins. Starting goalies for this game brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of the NHL. What a thrill for 22-year-old Nathan Lewin of Abbotsford, pressed into action with injuries to Michael Neuvert and Jonas Hen uh, Enroth. Former member of the Kootenai Ice gets the start against his hometown team, and it's 13 in a row for Eddie Lack. After picking up his 13th win of the season on Wednesday, a 2-0 shutout over Nashville. Henrik Sedin, and he will start this game at center, flanked by his brother for the first time in 10 games. Nick Jensen, he's got four points in his last four games on the right side. And it's Hodson against Henrik, former teammates to start this one. Cody Hodson drawing the puck back. And Buffalo controls to start the hockey game. Corey Conacher plays the puck into Vancouver zone. Lack out of his net, shoots it around for Daniel Sedin. It's off him right up the middle. And Cody Hodson early chance, but checked by Kevin Bieksa, who was able to poke the puck to the side. The extra long pass up on the right wing for Henrik Sedin, tried to center for Jensen. Now he plays the puck behind the goal. There to intercept was Chad Ruweedle, who gets the puck to the corner and is thrown to center for Hodson. Edler over to hit him. Hodson saw him coming. Henrik Sedin winds up with the puck. Daniel wants the lead pass, but he couldn't reach it as he dove for the Buffalo blue line, and that'll be an icing call against the Canucks. And John Tartarella looks on his team with the icing. 37 seconds into this one. The Sedin line has to stay on, although there was Yannick Hansen was able to make the change early. Apparently not. They're sending Jensen back out now to replace <laughs> Yannick Hansen. Good thought, though. Yeah, they tried. And this slows it down. You get a little rest. Drew Stafford gets the puck to Felino, sends it to the blue line. Christian Erhoff with a shot from the left point. That hit a skate and went wide. Bieksa hooks the puck around for Jensen, who plays it back for Kevin Bieksa. Around for Alex Edler, and he's got room to skate. Edler, though, try to pass up the middle. It was deflected, knocked down by Stafford. Now Edler gets the puck to the line, and Daniel Sedin's able to move it ahead for Ryan Kessler, who's also back in the Vancouver lineup, just like Daniel. Kessler centering the line of Chris Higgins and Yannick Hansen. As Erhoff dumps the puck ahead, Felino to Tyler Ennis, cutting it on goal. Wrist shot, he scores! Tyler Ennis, a minute 11 in. The first shot of the hockey game, and it's 1-0 Buffalo. Tyler Ennis had a few chances in his game in Edmonton on Friday night. And he snaps this one short side, uh, two on one, Dan Hamus off the post and in on Eddie Lack. Nice pass by Christian Erhoff to start the play. And Ennis post and in. It'll be Ennis from Felino and Erhoff, 71 seconds into the hockey game as Tyler Ennis gets his 19th of the season. And Mike Sullivan In trying to figure out what went wrong at the Vancouver Blue Line. Get a quick offside call. That's a rough start for the Vancouver Defense Corps. John, don't you think that's been part of the problem all season long? Is they get caught in between. They want to be aggressive and they want to force the issue in the neutral zone and then you get caught with a good pass from Erhoff to Felino to Ennis and it's quickly right down your throat. Yannick Weber in with a wrist shot. And that's the first test of the game for Nathan Lewin and he hangs on. There'll be a face off in the Buffalo zone. Lots of chatter around the contract of Ted Nolan. Supposedly it is done and just a matter of getting the legal ease done. The three year extension for Ted Nolan. When he first took over, the team did a lot better, but they've struggled of late. They broke a seven-game losing streak with that win in Edmonton, and in that seven-game losing streak, they only scored six goals. These are the two lowest-scoring teams in the league, goals per game. Canucks 29th at 2.32, Buffalo last at 1.86, and Lewin had to be careful there to grab that puck on top of the crease. Daniel Sedin jumping on that one, and. Nathan Lewin, who is a big body, six foot five, paddled down, and Daniel Sedin just couldn't find any space. Henrik Sedin against Cody Hodson on the draw again. That puck bouncing in skates, poked to the corner by Conacher. 
Daniel Sedin onto it. Now Hodgson able to collect for Buffalo. Works it to Jamie McBain, and he sends the puck to Tory Mitchell. Rink wide, no! here's Hodgson in. Hodgson drags and tries a wrist shot. That was blocked by Jason Garrison. Henrik gets the puck to the line, now helps it further to center. Hodgson intercepts and drops back to Mike Weber. No, Conacher sends the puck cross ice, and it winds up behind the Vancouver goal. Garrison around for Daniel Sedin. He turns to face the play, finds Zach Dalpy back to Daniel Sedin on the left wing. He puts one in front, and that went through the slot and out the other side. Bieksa holds the puck in. Here's Sean Mathias to Kevin Bieksa. Shot attempt blocked by Tory Mitchell, and the Canucks have to regroup at center. Lewin reaches up to grab that puck, and he'll take a whistle for another face-off in the, Daniel, in the uh, Buffalo zone. Here's Daniel Murphy. <laughs> Yes, John, these two teams met all the way back in October on the 17th in Buffalo. In that one, Roberto Luongo was in goal, and he stopped everything he saw. 25 saves in all for the shutout and a victory for the Vancouver Canucks. Here's Buffalo Murphy. The Canucks trailing the Daniel Sabres, once and up. <laughs> Eddie Lack shutout streak gone. I could say shutout, shutout, shutout now. Yes, you can, with impunity. Yes. Anti-social media will have nothing to say <laughs> no. about that. Here's Drew Stafford with a wraparound attempt. Lapp was able to cover the glove hand side, and he'll hang on for the face-off of the Vancouver zone. This is much like Nathan Ewan down at the other end. The wraparound try and Eddie Lack. Just get square, head over the left shoulder, stick down. And Drew Stafford, who has been the only hot saber of late, stopped by Eddie Lack. Stafford, 18 points in his last 20 games. He'll take this face off against Brad Richardson, who's the Canucks' top face off man percentage wise. Edler winds up with the puck, finds Zach Cassie. Now to Richardson, and the Canucks are two on one. BX are leading the way. In with Booth, they're three on. Banks have fired it wide as he tried to go stick side on Lewin, but missed the net. Richardson dumps one on goal, steered to the side boards. Edler gets the puck, puts it to the net, and a glove saved by Lewin, who hangs on while Booth mixes it up in front with Rasmus Ristolainen. David Booth has tried to be a little more aggressive of late, going to the net, looking for a rebound. There was no rebound on that long shot. Now here's Kevin Bieksa, two-on-one with David Booth, and I was surprised Kevin shot it from where he did, and he pulled it wide. I thought he could have walked into the middle more. There was lots of room. Rasmus Rutzelainen is six foot four. Big guy. David Booth is as strong as anybody. Those two head off at 3.04 of the first period. Coincidental minors here for Ruffin. And it'll be four aside here. And a one nothing hockey game, Buffalo leading. The goal on the first shot of the evening from Tyler Ennis just over a minute in. Sedin's out on the four on four for Vancouver. Ryan Flynn wins the face off from Hendrick City. Now takes a pass up the middle, skates to his own blue line, and there'll be a hooking call here to Daniel Sedin. Both referees with their arms in the air. Delayed penalty, which will put Buffalo onto a four on three power play. Surprised the Sabres aren't giving up the puck. Rather go four on three than five on four, wouldn't you? Maybe not. McBain gets a chance. Centers the puck, it's off a Canuck and in. Ryan Stanton, I think. And if it is, it's just been a week to forget in this department as a deflected pass in front goes in to make it 2-0 Buffalo. You don't give up the puck when you have control. And there's a Mike Case in points. You're another way. And Daniel reaches on Flynn. And that's a penalty. That's a hooking penalty. And now the Sabres come down and Ryan Stanton tries to block this pass across. It's off his stick and Eddie Lack is already committed. And it just slides in. Boy, oh boy, the first goal off the post and in, and that one off Ryan Stanton and in. So three times in the space of a week, and Ryan Stanton, you have to feel for him, just trying to make the play. He had two going off him in Tampa, and now another one here against Buffalo, and the Sabres, just three minutes and 29 seconds in, have a 2-0 lead.
I have no leg to stand on no. to argue my... No, no. I, because the puck went in. Yes. <laughs> but I've always, and I know you like it the other way, even when it's a five-on-three, and it's going to be a five-on-three, if you have control of the puck, complete control, I don't think you should give it away. Well, and again, you're, you're looking like yeah. the smart one on this one. <laughs> So the Canucks down early against the Buffalo team that, as we mentioned earlier, averages under two goals per game. And they're up to the number two already in the opening minutes of this one. But here's a chance for Kessler to break in. He shoots, kicked out by Lewin. Rebound to Edler, who tries a shot, and Lewin with the glove makes the save. After Kessler had a chance to break in right up the middle. Boy, and Lewin very aggressively after Ryan Kessler on this one. The big goaltender comes charging out. Nice pass, and the Sabres get caught on a bad change. Ryan Kessler, top of the circles, and Lewin well out of the blue paint, charging at Ryan Kessler, and nobody there for the rebound off the pads. Canucks control off the draw. Edler passes to the side. Kevin Bieksa throws one towards the goal. Henrik Sedin was looking for a tip. Daniel winds up with the puck. Back to Bieksa, down to Henrik. Hooks the puck to Daniel Sedin. Henrik Sedin once more. BX is in front. Henrik looking there. Puts it to the front of the goal. And then it deflected just wide of the net. Tori Mitchell tips the puck to the corner for Christian Erhoff, who's tied up by Daniel Sedin. Erhoff trying to get up the boards. Henrik blocked that. Now Daniel out with the puck. Hooks it back to the blue line to Edler. He throws one on goal. That hit. I thought he hit Daniel Sedin, but it's the goaltender who winds up with the puck. And Lewin takes the whistle. Murph. Well, guys, I'd like to remind everyone to play Safeway's Million Dollar Score and Win. If any Vancouver player scores five goals in tonight's game, Deborah Lapshanoff of Penticton could win $1 million. Shots on goal now, John, are 7-3 in favor of the Canucks. And yet they trail 2-0. They've had some good chances. The X are the first real good one on the odd man rush, and then Kessler, the dash up into the zone. Teams back to full strength as Booth and Rich the line are out of the penalty box. Higgins onto the puck in the Buffalo zone. In deep for Yannick Hansen. Matthias taking a turn here with those two. In the spot where Kessler would normally be where he started the game. There's a long shot from Weber stopped by Lewin. And that's the eighth test he's faced, not even six minutes into the hockey game. Matthias making moves in the corner on Weber. Higgins there in support. Passes back for Hanson, who took it off his skate, and he dumps the puck back to the corner for Matthias. A little more room this time. Back to Weber. Left point for Stanton. Had to chase forward after that one. Now gets it again on the left wing. Dumps the puck to the other side. Matthias in behind for Higgins. Sent by, past him by Flynn. And now the puck is iced by the Sabres. So the face-off will come back into the Buffalo zone. Not a real good start, and obviously the fans don't like it. Uh, these afternoon games, a 5 o'clock start on a Sunday, and Canucks off to the dismal 2-0 start in the first five minutes. No icing on that play. He's a clearing attempt. Ticked off the stick of Dan Hanhus, who now has the puck at center and wrist into the Buffalo zone. Booth moves in on Henrik Tillinder. Zenin Kanopka trying to move the puck. Buffalo's fourth line out there. Kanopka between John Scott and Nicholas Deloria. The towering John Scott. Booth steps up, throws a hit on Tillinder. Puck is out to center. Hanhuse plays it forward. Canucks have to tag up. They do, but up. out comes Ruedel, the native of San Diego. See a lot of NHLers from that area. Play some minor hockey in La Jolla. John Scott hit by Booth in front of the Vancouver bench. Both those players head off on changes as the Canucks control in their own zone. Jensen couldn't quite negotiate that long pass. Airhoff back with the puck. Throws it up the middle of Drew Stafford. 
He defers to Tyler Ennis, who's in over the Vancouver blue line. Following up is Stafford. Tried a wrist shot. He was checked by Henrik Sedin. Now he gets the puck again in the corner. Throws it through the crease, and it's out the other side where Daniel Sedin starts out. Daniel, the center on the right wing, flips the puck forward. Wrist to line and trying to get it out, but Daniel Sedin holds the puck in the zone. Daniel to Henrik. Puts it on the backhand. Throws one on goal. Lou in the save. And no Canuck there for a rebound that never materialized. Two early ones for the Sabres, and the Canucks trying to play from behind here at Rogers Arena. It is the ultimate pizza party contest. Pizza Hut has given you the chance to win one of 12 pizza parties, each of which includes dinner for the group, plus a Canucks jersey for the host. Two of these winners will also score a 55-inch LG flat screen smart TV. Contest details available at Canucks.com slash Pizza Hut. Brought to you by Pizza Hut, the official pizza of the Vancouver Canucks. Canucks up to nine shots in the hockey game to just three for Buffalo. But those aren't the numbers that matter with the Sabres up two to nothing. Higgins to the left point, Bieksa. Down for Ryan Kessler to Bieksa again. Got a little pick from Kessler. Now he cuts in front with a wrist shot to trickle through and thrown back through the crease by Chris Higgins. Close call there for Kevin Bieksa, who's got the puck again. Left point, Edler, wrist one in front, deflected wide by Yannick Hansen. Higgins tries to center, blocked by McBain. Now Higgins back to Bieksa. Fakes the slap shot, wrist one towards the goal. Winds up on the stick of Weber, who can't clear past Higgins. Kessler comes out the near side, fires back to Alex Edler. Right point, Bieksa. He throws one towards the goal. McBain blocks that to the corner. Goes after the puck there. Kessler ties him up. Canucks the better team everywhere, but scoring goals in this one. Unfortunately, that's what counts at the end of the night as the Sabres finally get the puck out, and Edler goes back. Daniel Sedin back onto the ice, getting lots of early work. Jensen couldn't hold the puck in, and he shoots it in offside. Daniel keeps after the puck, now he'll let it go. And the Canucks will tag up as Talinder starts out for Buffalo. Gets to center on the right wing and backhands the puck round to the far side. Marcus Foligno's there. Rui with lots of room. Shot broke the stick of Hanhuis who dives to glove the puck down into Buffalo territory. Drew Stafford trying to get behind Yannick Weber. Now Stafford slows, tries a backhander, and Eddie Lack, reading that one, makes the save and hangs on for the stoppage. Canucks have had some great scoring chances, and Kevin Biaxa gets one. Brian Kessler makes the play and then cuts across the pick play. Takes his man, and that creates a little open ice for Kevin Biaxa. It's through the goaltender, out the other side. Nathan Lewin gets a break on that one as it just squeaked through his legs and came out past the far post. Zenon Kanopka against Brad Richardson on the face-off to the right of Eddie Lapp. Puck winds up on the stick of Ryan Stanton behind the goal. Now here's Yannick Weber. Pass to Ryan Stanton. A shot in from his own side of center. And that's an icing call as Ryan Stanton didn't take the extra stride, and that'll cost his team a face-off in the Vancouver zone. When his shoot-in went off the glass, and Brad Richardson would have got to it first. I think that's what Ryan Stanton thought Brad Richardson was going. So he wants to ring it around, but it's off the post and then comes back out in front. The linesman rightly made that call. Richardson hooks the puck to the corner on the face-off. Weber there. In a battle with Matt D'Agostini. Richardson collects the puck behind the goal and starts out with a pass to Zach Cassian. Four Canucks to center. Weber couldn't reach that pass. Canucks, though, hold the puck in. Battle of the 227s, and Matthias comes up with a puck from D'Agostini. Here's Cassian making a move to the corner. Now centering. Richardson shoots. He scores! Brad Richardson, short side, posting in, and it's 2-1, to one, Buffalo. Two teams that can't score goals. This could end up 6-5. Sean Mathias with good work. You said the battle of the 27s along the boards. And Sean Mathias won that battle. Shoot in. Good four check. Sean Mathias at D'Agostini along the boards, and Mathias wins the battle. 
Zach Cassian with a nice little pass. Brad Richardson. And when you're a big goaltender, you have to get those shoulders up. And Nathan Lewin, he's down, he's down. He tries to get over to the post, and the shoulders are down. He never did get that right shoulder up. And Brad Richardson found some space. It's his ninth of the year, but his first in 22 games. And the Canucks are on the board here. Halfway through the first period. Now Garrison tries a shot. That went off Conacher's stick and wide. Hendrickson in after the puck at the side of the goal. Now gets it behind the net. Henrik on the left wing for Daniel City. Back behind for Henrik. McBain cut that off. Hodson couldn't find the puck in his skates. Daniel with a shot that went off a leg and just wide. Canucks came close there to tying it with two goals in quick succession. Now Weber breaks his stick and the Canucks will try to take advantage. Henrik Sedin is in, centering, Daniel shoots, stopped by Lewin, has got his blocker on that one. Now Henrik from behind the goal. Henrik Sedin to Daniel Sedin, shot off his stick and the puck goes out of play for a whistle. Canucks plenty of chances, finally have some finishes. Richardson set up by Cassian, makes it a one goal game halfway through the first. Nice play by Zach Cassian out to Brad Richardson. Off the post and in. Good shot by Richardson. Big goaltender. You have to find a spot, and Richardson did. And that means a winner on score and win for Safeway and Nabob Coffee. Congratulations from Kinemat. Ken Rutsatz, you've won a Bradley Original Electric Smoker. As you said, anybody who took the over on this one between these two yes. teams looking good on a bet. I wonder what it was. Probably three. Higgins wrists one wide. Polino gets the puck out, and Yannick Hansen is there to collect for the Canucks. Drops to Kevin Bieksa, just under nine minutes to go on the first. 2-1 Sabres, despite being outshot 12-4. Alex Edler ahead to Yannick Hansen. Higgins trying to force the puck deep. Kessler tried to hold it in, but it came out and back in for an offside whistle from linesman Kyle Murchison. Check out playnow.com and bet live during the game. If you gamble, use your game sense. Play resumes at center. Bouncing shot from Yannick Hansen. Steered to the corner by Lewin. Puck sent around. Bieksa waiting at the right point. Down for Ryan Kessler. Hansen winds up with the puck in front for Bieksa. He chopped it wide of the goal. Ruedel gets the puck. Sends it out. Edler will wrist it back in for Vancouver. To Linder. Run over by Kessler, but got the puck around to Ruedel. Up to Stafford, who is pressured by Edler, and the Sabres will try once again to move out of their own zone. Lead pass to Felino, who tips the puck into the Vancouver end, and Bieksa goes back. Eight minutes to go in the first. As Bieksa skates to center and risks the puck into the Buffalo zone, John Scott gave him a bump. Bieksa heads to the bench as Scott moves through center with the puck. Bieksa might be a little shaken up, John. As Lack makes the save on the sharp angle shot. And I think Kevin Bieksa was shaken up on that hit at center from John Scott. And you can see him on the bench. John Scott is such a big guy that when he does hit you, okay, make the play. And here comes Scott. And I, Kevin wasn't expecting it. A little bit late. Winded. Punched over, trying to shake it off as the Sabres ice the puck, and there'll be a face-off in the Buffalo zone. Before that, we'll check in with Murph. Well, guys, Nathan Lewin making his uh, second career NHL start. He's from Abbotsford. He's a former first-round uh, WHL Bantam draft pick of the Kootenai Ice in 05, but at 16, he had a bad concussion after a rollover car accident in uh, Cranbrook. Hockey future didn't look good. Came back to one goal for Canada at the U18, Ivan Halenka. And from there, he was drafted from the Sabres. So a nice comeback story. And of course, anytime someone's from Abbotsford, we have to mention it twice. <laughs> yes, we always defer to Dan when we're telling Abbotsford stories. Kyle Kaminsky, another NHLer mm -hmm. from Abbotsford. And here's after the icing call. Uh, now, okay. They can't find Zenon Canop to stick, you see. Yeah. So, oh, which one yeah. is it? What number is he? Is he 20, 24? I can't Four. find Oh, it. we have oh. to go back in the dressing room and get another stick. Uh, no, we we got no left-hand shots on the bench. <laughs> uh, now, is that on the player? Did he not leave his sticks in the rack? Or, or are they just stalling? They're just stalling. Whatever it takes. 
We've seen all sorts of knee ways in the last couple oh, of years. Man. With the no change on the icing rule when it was implemented. Fourth line icing. Cassian centers. Matthias scores. Zach Cassian's put a couple on the tee, and both have been driven home. This one by Sean Matthias to tie the game at two. Uh, another nice pass by Zach Cassian, and Matthias, who had an assist on the Brad Richardson goal, this time he's the shooter. He's almost in the same place that Brad Richardson was in when Richardson scored. And there's Richardson and Cassian out to Matthias, who slides himself back into that soft area. No defenseman goes to him. He's out far enough, and it's off the glove of Lewin into the corner. So Richardson at 10-12, Matthias at 12-48. The Canucks with two goals in just over two and a half minutes. And deserving at the very least to be in a tie hockey game, having outshot Buffalo 14-5. They're in again. Jensen back to Garrison. Here's Hanhuis with a wrist shot, and that's gloved by Lewin who takes the whistle in the Buffalo zone. Another goal for the Canucks, another winner and scoring win for Safeway and Nabob Coffee from Vancouver. We congratulate Linda Payne, who's won a men's bull of a Marine Star chronograph watch. That's one of those things that uh, when you get Ryan Kessler back, then all of a sudden, Sean Mathias becomes a winger again. And as a winger, he's in there on the four check, and here he's the shooter, and Brad Richardson gets back to being center. Long shot from Edler goes wide. Jensen hooks the puck in front. That deflected. And again, into the glove of 22-year-old Nathan Lewin of Abbotsford, who takes the whistle. And the problems that the Canucks have had, uh, you go all the way back to Mike Santarelli's injury and uh, the depth at center. And when Ryan Kessler was out, Sean Mathias played center. He was a second-line center on the road trip. Now he's a winger and got two points already. Corey Conacher with a drop pass at center. Cody Hodgson moves in. Drag move and a wrist shot attempt that was blocked by Henrik Sedin. Conacher winds up with a puck in the corner. Cycles there for Tori Mitchell. Mitchell to the high slot. Conacher back to the point to Linder. Sends the puck around. First action in the Canucks end of the ice in quite some time. Henrik Sedin winds up with a puck in the corner. And he'll skate behind his net, being pursued by Cody Hodson. He just backhands the puck to center. Tillinder tried to wrist it back in. That hit Jensen, who couldn't get by Tillinder. He was able to regain the puck and flip it into the Vancouver zone. Lack tried the indirect pass for Henrik City. Stafford took that one away, but Yannick Hansen winds up with the puck and drops it back to Kevin Bieksa. Bieksa appearing all right after being shaken up his last time out. Gets the puck ahead to Chris Higgins. Nice pass in front. Kessler couldn't get a shot on the backhand, but he gets the puck again and sends it back to Dan Hanhuis. Hanhuis fakes the shot. Now wrists one in front. That was blocked. Getting in front of it was Christian Erhoff, and Stafford passes to center. Felino drops to Ennis. Ahead for Stafford. Out of his reach, and Hanhuis takes control. Under five and a half minutes to go in the first. A 2-2 time. Hanhuis for Higgins. Couldn't reach the pass, but Hanhuis intercepts at center. And turns at his own blue line. Dan Hanhuis to Ryan Kessler. In with Higgins. Booth going to the net as Kessler stopped and fell down along the boards. McBain works him over a little bit. Booth comes in looking for the puck. But Ennis has it. He'll flip one forward, hoping Matt D'Agostini can move in. Almost did, but the puck hit the skate of Jason Garrison, preventing D'Agostini the opportunity to cut right in front. Booth trying to move the puck out. He was checked by Brian Flynn. Now Booth is out with it. And passes for Zach Dolpe. Dolpe runs into Weber, but able to play the puck behind the Buffalo goal. Lewin out of his net. Got it to the side. Dolpe tried a shot. It deflects to the left point to Ryan Stanton. Bumped by Tory Mitchell, but gets the puck down to Dolpe. Tried to find Booth in the corner. Wasn't expecting the pass. And the Sabres get the puck ahead to Mitchell, who dumps it to neutral ice. Puck rolls into the Vancouver zone, and Stanton goes back with a little over four minutes to go in the opening period. Both teams looking for consecutive wins. Sabres after ending their seven-game losing streak in Edmonton. And the Canucks trying to win two in a row for the first time since late January. 
Lewin's out of his net again. Ruedel from the corner ahead to Hodgson. Pass blocked by Matthias. He drops back to Edler, chips the puck just outside the line. Chad Ruedel dumps it back in, and Eddie Lack settles the puck for Alex Edler. Edler, fan on his pass, now plays the puck forward, but that's going to be an icing call for a face-off in the Vancouver zone. Any team that uses more than three goalies in a season usually misses the playoffs. And uh, you can see the Buffalo Sabres trading away their franchise goaltender, Ryan Miller, but using the five goaltenders. It's really a battle. The young guys, Nathan Lewin and Matt Hackett, to see who's going to be the number one guy going into training camp, I think, next year, unless the Sabres decide that they go out and get another veteran. You would think in the rebuild, why not try one of the young guys? And Matt Hackett, one in Edmonton. Neuver and Enroth both out right now with injuries. And it's not that it's not that they're that old. Canucks breaking in with numbers here. Bieksa throws one in front, and Cassian couldn't make contact. Richardson behind the net for Zach Cassian. Another centering pass, and it got by both Matthias and Richardson. And Zach Cassian was looking for his third first assist, if you will, of the first period. Up against his former team, Cassian. The return part of the Cody Hodgson trick. And he's had a good start to this one. Garrison ahead to Jensen, who drops back to Ham Hughes. Under three minutes to go in the first. Jason Garrison up the left wing. Jensen tips the puck forward, now goes after it. Working on Weber. Puck cleared past Daniel Sedin. Ham Hughes holds it in, throws it in front. Sent ahead for Ellis, but he couldn't move out. Garrison back in deep for Nicholas Jensen. Along the end boards for Daniel Sedin. Henrik comes in for the puck. Henrik Sedin fighting off the check of the Buffalo player. Now puck taken away and sent around by Flint. And forced into the Vancouver zone by Matt Ellis, allowing both teams to start a change. Two minutes to go in the first period. Sabres scored the first two early. Canucks took over the period after that. Came back with a couple of their own to tie the game. Chris Higgins in front. One timer by Stanton just missed the net. Against the team, he scored his one and only goal against back in October. Ryan Stanton almost got his second right there. Kanopka tips the puck into the Vancouver zone. DeLorean hits Stanton, but he's able to play the puck to the side, and here comes Yannick Weber. Over the Buffalo line on the right wing, he tips the puck to the end boards and goes after it himself. Tried to send it the other way on the backhand, that didn't work. Ruedel passes ahead to Deloria, who gains center and chips the puck into the Vancouver zone. Edler stripped of the puck by Felino. Here's Ennis for Felino. Stick lifted by Edler, who atoned for his own turnover, and now Higgins skates the other way. Try to pass for Kessler that was blocked. Stafford attempts to get the puck behind the net, but Cassian is there for Vancouver. Looked like he got high stick, no call. Cassian checking for damage as play goes up ice and the puck is into the Vancouver zone. That's a sticker. The puck came up and hit him in the face. Either way, it didn't feel very good. Here's Matthias in on the left wing. Centering. That went through the crease and out the other side. Richardson. Near side for Kevin Bieksa, who's moved in deep. He takes a pass behind the net from Booth. Bieksa spins, trying to get away from Weber. Intercepting is Hodson, who drops back for Weber, and he dumps the puck to center for Tory Mitchell. Into the middle for Conacher, taken away by Hamhus. Quickly ahead to Matthias, back to Booth. In front, pass intended for Richardson, deflects to the far corner. Richardson trying to make a play there. Hodson winds up with the puck. Dangerous pass to McBain, who's able to get it to Conacher. And the puck will now be brought ahead by Cody Hodson. Tried a long wrist shot off the right wing. Now Conacher with a test, and that'll be the last shot of the period as Eddie Lack was able to steer it to the corner. Tough end of the period for Zach Cassian, but he had a strong one, John, with a couple of assists for Vancouver. Brad Richardson put one of them home. And Sean Mathias had the other one for Vancouver. So all even here, tough start for the Canucks.
but they're able to bounce back and get a couple of their own. We'll be hearing from Sean Mathias in our first intermission, and we'll be hearing from Don and Gary as well. Canucks in a tie here through 20 with Buffalo. This period brought to you by the all-new Toyota Highlander. One look and you'll want to know more. We mentioned what a gorgeous day it's been in Vancouver and we're being treated to an entertaining hockey game so far. Who would have thunk it? The Canucks and the Sabres exploding for four goals in the first and a 2-2 tie as we head to period two here as they did to start the first period Cody Hodgson and Henrik Sedin will contest the second period face off and Henrik able to draw it back Alex Edler throws the puck forward and Henrik tips it into the Buffalo zone Jensen pressuring to Linder who dumps the puck around the near side waiting as the excess slapping one wide of the goal side of the net Jensen off the outside of the goal as he tried to catch Lewin out of the net. Now a wrist shot from the blue line is blocked. Canucks picking up right where they left off in period one. The exit fan on a slap shot though and that's an offside play for a face off outside the Buffalo blue line. The way Nick Jensen's been going that's surprising that this one didn't go in. It's off the boards. Jensen bad angle almost on the goal line and just misses outside the post. Sedin line heads off. Kessler out with Higgins and Hansen. Although Higgins lines up wide left. Hansen tips the puck in. Christian Erhoff goes back. Dumps around for Drew Stafford who tips the puck past Hanhuis and down to the Vancouver Blue Line. Yannick Hansen leaves in his own zone for Jason Garrison up to Ryan Kessler. Fell down as he tried to make a move around Stafford. And the puck is wristed into the Vancouver end. Felino was after it. Garrison winds up with the puck. Slows and passes to hand use at center. Go! And on the left wing, Higgins back for Garrison. Oh, just came wow. outside the line, says Steve Barton. And the whistle blows on the offside. Murph. Moment to take a look at the scoring summary from the first period. And there was plenty of it. Tyler Ennis and James McBain making it 2-0 Sabres. Less than three and a half minutes in before Brad Richardson and Sean Mathias uh, score for Vancouver tying things up. Oh, but three points in that first period. Two points, excuse me, all three. All three. You always like that with the line mates, always like that. When all three guys are involved, you sit together in the dressing room, you know, oh, what a great play that was, what a great play that was. And sit together on the bench, discuss your goal after. Six points among them. Among them. My mom's been under the weather. Oh, she'll, she'll appreciate a little appreciate proper that. grammar. Make her feel a little better. Here's Weber wristing the puck in. And it winds up coming all the way back out to center. Ryan stands in there. Back to Weber. And this time he plays a cross corner dump. McBain back. Pass up the middle. Matthias broke that up. And Cassian's onto the puck. Knocked off his stick. And poked to the near side by Flynn. Weber looks up ice. Onto the right wing. D'Agostini moving in on Stanton. Leaves the puck on the end boards. Matthias there to collect. And the Canucks break out the center. Cassian for Weber. Took that nicely off his left skate. Wrist shot at Timmy scores! A hiccup for Nathan Lewin. And a 3-2 lead for the Vancouver Canucks. Ted Nolan's looking up at the Jumbotron. I don't think he can believe this one. Nathan Lewin. I don't know what he was thinking on this one. Did he think it was just going to be a shoot-in? Weber just fires it away, and Nathan Lewin doesn't get down with the stick between his legs. Standing on end a little bit, but it didn't look like it knuckled or dipped. Manic Weber. They all count. His fourth and the third in a row for the Canucks in this hockey game. And Yannick Weber gives Vancouver its first lead of the night after the Canucks fell behind 2-0 in the first three and a half minutes. More points for Cassian and Matthias who draw the assist. They have three in the game. So Murph was just foreshadowing. There's a penalty coming up to Alex Edler. Brad Watson saying that Edler stuck out the right foot to trip up the Sabre forward Conacher and he'll head to the box for the first power play of the game. It goes to Buffalo. 
Alex Adler. Uh, stick and right leg. Uh, the stick, Alex Adler let the stick go, but ends up with the tripping penalty. Had the outside inside, he was beaten. Two minutes into the second period, the Sabres, moments after surrendering the go-ahead goal, get an opportunity on the man advantage, but they'll have to start from their own end as Garrison sends the puck down the ice. Buffalo did score a power play goal in their win in Edmonton on Friday. Ennis trying to work his way in. Gives the puck away to Garrison. And once more, he'll send it off the glass and down. Higgins was offside, but he tags up and heads to the Vancouver bench, replaced by Matthias. 30 seconds elapsed in the penalty to Alex Edler. Ristolainen tips the puck in from the left wing. Matthias behind the goal. He and Hamhuis trying to work the puck out. Stafford gets it, drops it back to Erhoff. To the left point, Rasmus Ristolainen with a rising wrist shot. Try saying that five times consecutively. <laughs> yeah. Garrison gets the puck and backhands it down the ice. Erhoff starts up with a minute to go in the power play. Hodson with a quick shift to the inside. Now button hooks along the boards at the point. Loses the puck and it's back out to center. Now he's pressured by Hanson, but able to work the puck free to Felino, who drops it back into his own zone. Jamie McBain. Steps around Hanson, throws one ahead to D'Agostini, who sends the puck in. DMs it off the boards, can't get it out. D'Agostini cutting towards the middle, and his shot was blocked by Ryan Stanton. Richardson trying to settle the mounting puck, gets it to the line, not out. Sabres. Conacher tried to throw it on goal, winds up behind the net. D'Agostini's there. 20 seconds to go in the Buffalo power play. McBain to Delorier, and his shot fluttered wide of the goal. Here's D'Agostini, pass for Conacher, eluded him. Felino hustles to the puck, banks it back to Delorier, who slaps one off the stick of Ryan Stanton in the corner. Stanton able to chop the puck forward, Richardson can't come up with it. And a shot from the blue line by McBain sails wide. Edler's out of the box. Buffalo from one on the power play. Felino while falling down, tried to backhand one on goal. That went harmlessly wide. And Richardson gets the puck ahead to Hanson, who slides it to the Buffalo blue line. Just one shot for the Sabres on that power play. And it remains 3-2 Canucks just past the four-minute mark of the second period. Matt Ellis in the Vancouver zone sends the puck to the far corner. Ruedel there. Spinning to try to get away from Hamhuis. Puck deflects to the near boards. Talinder moves down and sends it back around for Chad Ruedel. He shoots one through the crease and out the near side. Talinder holds the puck in. Best sustained offensive zone presence for the Sabres in a while. The power play obviously contributing to it. But they've maintained it even since Edler stepped out of the box. Bieksa knocks Ellis down and comes out with the puck. Daniel Sedin gloves it down. His lead pass is blocked, and here's John Scott turning into Vancouver zone. Passing down the boards for Tyler Ennis. Sabres getting some talent out on the ice while still controlling in the Vancouver zone, and the Sedin line's been out there a little bit. Here's a centering pass and a defensive play by Daniel Sedin. Now we're shot by Russell Linden. Stopped and cleared out by the Canucks as that puck ricocheted on its way to the Vancouver goal. Five and a half into the second, still 3-2 Vancouver as the Sabres move back in. Felino gets by a sprawling hand, he puts the puck in front. Daniel Sedin was there, he's able to clear it down to the Buffalo blue line. Canucks able to make one change as Jensen gets to the bench, but that's it. Higgins is on, he's the freshest Canuck out there right now. Felino tried a centering pass, Higgins able to knock it to the side, but Ennis gets the puck back, now it's onto the stick of Henrik Sedin, and Vancouver will be able to complete its change as Henrik sends the puck in behind the Buffalo goal. Kessler comes on along with Cassian. Hansen had seen penalty killing duty. So Cassian on for this one. Now the Sabres ice the puck. It'll be a face off in the Buffalo zone. But before that, we can tell you about a third winner and scoring win in this hockey game. Yannick Weber providing the latest on behalf of Safeway and Nabob Coffee from Prince Rupert. Sylvia Rudman, you've won a DVD prize pack courtesy E1. Uh, Yannick Weber, the puck's dancing. He just snaps it and it drifts through. Nathan Lewin, and you can see Lewin's stick and his reaction looking skyward. 
Long shot by Garrison. Goes wide of the goal. Here's Higgins. Passing on the left wing. Try to pass back for Garrison. That was broken up. And Ennis skates back and tips the puck into the Vancouver zone. Sabres with all that pressure, the power play, and then the following shift, but still only one shot in the period. Canucks have had one shot as well, and that was the long one from Weber that eluded the Sabres net one. That was Rista Lyman's wrister, wasn't it? His rising wrister. Oh, that's right. Yes! McBain trying to get around Booth, who angled him off along the boards. Mitchell threw a hit in the corner. Now Weber loses the puck. Sabres trying to get it to the front, but Weber recovered to check Honaker. Stanton plays the puck to the corner, and Booth collects it and starts out. Just past the seven-minute mark of the second, 3-2 Vancouver. Booth in on the right wing, takes the puck wide, round the net. Out the other side, might do a lap. No, he'll stop. Here's Richardson. Bounces off that check. Tried to hook the puck in front for Booth. That was tipped away. Torrey Mitchell's clearing attempt blocked. Canucks will work to hold the puck in, but it gets by Booth and out to center. Deloria, rink wide, and Flynn shoots the puck into Vancouver territory. Seven and a half minutes into the second. Yannick Weber, the go-ahead goal. Here in the middle, Frank, now a race for the puck in the Buffalo end. Talinder there ahead of Matthias, who gives him a jolt after Talinder left the puck along the boards. Out with it is Ristolainen. And a long shot by D'Agostini off the stick of Deloria, a high stick. So it wouldn't have counted, pending a review perhaps, but no review on the stoppage in play, and we'll step aside with the Canucks up by one. Only six home games left in the season. Don't miss your chance to see the Canucks play live against teams like the Rangers and the Ducks. Tickets available now for all remaining home games. Visit Canucks.com slash tickets to buy yours today. Rangers all of a sudden hot again. Henrik Lundqvist setting the team franchise record for shutouts and wins. Surpassing uh, Mike Richter. Who himself, I believe, had surpassed Ed Jockman some years ago. Contemporary of yours. Richter. <laughs> I can't even get a rise out of you anymore. Here's Dalpy moving in for Vancouver. Wrist shot wide with the goaltender Lewin lunging at that one. Have you know I was Mike Richter's goalie consultant one year. I do remember that. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. That was just a couple of years after you spent time <laughs> as the assistant playing GM of the Canucks. Yes. And if you don't believe that story, folks, it's right on the hockey card. Out with the puck is Christian Erhoff. Marcus Foligno tips the puck. Forward into the Vancouver zone. Cannot start back the other way. Four of them to center. Garrison onto the right wing. Jensen cutting towards the front. He shoots, and that went off Weber and wide of the goal. David Booth being checked out of the bench as the Sabres rush in the other way. And a glove save for Eddie Lack on that wrist shot from Foligno. This period, brought to you by McCain's new four meat rising crust pizza. McCain, it's all good. David Booth being attended to by Mike Bernstein. Looks like he's got some back problems and he got shoved right there and you can see the spasm or didn't seem to be that hard a hit. Almost in the side, maybe in the kidneys. Here's Alex Edler, beautifully ahead to Ryan Kessler, was able to poke the puck onto the left wing for Higgins, back for Kessler. Hodson steps into him, puck sent to the blue line, Edler loads up, lets it go, and a stick saved by Lewin. Got the stick down on that one, wishing he had on the Weber chance earlier. Playing in front of family and friends here, the Abbotsford native. Here's Conacher, dumping the puck around to the far side. Hodson couldn't bring it off the boards, and it's sent ahead for Yannick Hansen, but it's over his stick. And taking control is Henrik Tillinger. We're halfway through the second. Canucks leading 3-2. Ruedel rushes in. Centering pass, and 
Eddie Lack got the paddle down to block that one. Kessler backhands the puck for Matthias. He gets it up to Zach Cassie, who tips the puck into the Buffalo zone. Chad Ruby will back for him. Leaves behind the net for Chilinder, being watched by Matthias. Lead pass, John Scott. And now the puck driven in by Ellis. This line for Buffalo had a good offensive zone shift last time up. And Kanopka comes up with the puck on this occasion. Back towards Erhoff, who's pressured by Matthias. Following up is Weber, and he'll rush out with a pass to Stanton. He sends a high one in. Lewin will reach up and grab that puck. And as the whistle blows, we'll step aside here. Just one goal in the second after the teams combine for four in the first. To live the game with the new windows, and it is the 20th anniversary of the most historic goal ever scored against the Canucks. Prototype coming in with Gretzky trailing. Gretzky gets the puck on the right to McSurley. Send it to Gretzky. Live the game of the new windows, one device for everything in your life. I'm sure Kirk McLean thought Marty McSorley would never make that pass. He sure did. Wayne Gretzky passing Gordy Howe. And uh, another in the long list of calls for Jim Robson that he absolutely nailed. Here's Daniel Sedin with the puck behind the Buffalo goal. Puts it on the back. And centers for Jansen. Couldn't make contact as he tried to volley it. Now a wrist shot by Garrison. Goes off a of body and wide of the goal. Henrik to Daniel. To Henrik. Side of the net. Jensen shoveled it through the slot. And nobody there to tap it home. Twins had the telepathy working on that sequence. And now Daniel covering for Garrison in the blue line. Tried to pass for Henrik. Ennis took it away. Henrik kicks the puck free. Jensen shoots wide. Trying to go glove side. Canucks with a few of Opportunities on this shift, and Daniel might get another. Sinners, Edler, or pardon me, Hamus coming off the blue line, couldn't shovel it past the goalie, Lewin, and the Sabres clear, and the fans like that shift. Yes. A little over eight minutes to go in the second. No! 3 2 Canucks, Vancouver's outshot Buffalo 18 to 8 in the game. But the Sabres might get a shot opportunity here with McCain at the blue line. Over to Weber, wrist shot, deflected by Hodgson and stopped by Eddie Lack. Conacher gets the puck, into the corner for Mitchell. Tory Mitchell checked, and Yannick Hansen able to send the puck down into the Buffalo zone. Lewin, a little uncertain there with what to do with it. Centered Higgins, glove saved by Lewin. After he'd been a little unclear what to do with the puck, Canucks got it back with the centering pass from Kessler to Higgins, denied by the Buffalo netminder. Sedin, Twins back, Daniel back in the lineup, Henrik and Daniel through the skates. Daniel back to Henrik. Nick Jensen was trying to do with that one, but here he gets a pass from Henrik, snaps the wrist shot just wide, good scoring chance. And what a save by Nathan Lewin on this one. Look what I got. Look what I got. And it was one of those miscommunication goalie defense. You have to play, this is your second game playing with this set of defense. Stanton trying to wrist shot. That tipped wide of the goal. McBain gets the puck. And Jamie McBain sends it on the glass and out. Chasing after this D'Agostini. He's got two teammates in front. There's the pass, and Flynn was checked just as he tried to make a move. Now a lead feed for Higgins. Couldn't take it cleanly as he tried to move in. This time he does on the right wing. Tries a drop pass. Weber into the corner for Chris Higgins. High slot. Henson drives one wide with Kessler ducking for cover. Weber. Back to the right point for Yannick Hansen. Down to Chris Higgins. Spinning to get away from D'Agostini. Higgins spins again, this time on Weber. Finds Bieksa. Here's Kessler to the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Lewin, Kessler lost his stick in that sequence. And the Sabres come up with the puck and get it out. Edler tried to find Bieksa. Has to wait for the puck to get to him. Now he turns and dumps it in behind the Buffalo goal. Cylinder. Chips one forward. Ellis settles the puck and slides it into Vancouver territory. Adler checked by Kanopka, but able to work the puck to Zach Cassie. Lead pass to Matthias, who runs into John Scott at center and turns the puck over. Kanopka dumps it back in. Adler can't get it by Kanopka on the near side. Now to Linder centering. Matthias picks that one up. 
and dumps the puck forward for Cassian to chase after. Race for it. Icing waved off. Cassian checked by Ruedel behind the net. Cylinder can't get the puck past Matthias. And after it on the near side is Brad Richardson. He collides with Scott. Cylinder bumped by Cassian as he tried to move the puck up the boards. Under six minutes to go in the second. 3-2 Vancouver. Ruedel pressured by Matthias. Richardson to help out. Finds Cassian. Try to get it back for Garrison. And reaching out was John Scott to tip that puck to center. And now he reaches out to deflect the pass, and the puck goes into the seats down below us for a souvenir. Canucks up 3-2. You're watching it live right here on Sportsnet Pacific. Welcome back to Vancouver, where Safeway's featured participating product for tonight's game is Nabob Coffee. Lots of kids in attendance here. Five o'clock start. Great to have Will helping us up, <laughs> helping us out here in the booth. He's done his part. He's been very quiet. <laughs> Those are the only instructions. Here's Jensen to the blue line. Edler with a wrist shot wide of the goal. Henrik Sedin lines up with the puck into the corner. Jensen behind the net for Daniel Sedin. Henrik appears to be favoring his left leg a little bit here, John. Shaking it out. He was a little slow to move that last puck, but he's got it on the left wing. Back to the right point to Kevin Bieksa. Henrik still shaking out the left leg as the puck was sent towards the goal, and he's going to cobble right. to the bench here. Not sure what's ailing Henrik Sedin, but something is bothering him. As the Canucks, with action continuing, have Jensen skating in over the Buffalo blue line. Daniel wrists one towards the goal, blocker to the corner by Lewin. Kessler to Jensen. Daniel Sedin behind the net. Indirect pass to BX, a long shot, and that went off Jensen, I think, in front and wide of the goal. Kessler, back to Bieksa, fakes the shot, now puts it in front, the flight is stopped by Lewin, and he covers up on the tip from Daniel Sedin, as his brother Henrik is being checked out of the Vancouver bench. Mike Bernstein attending to Henrik. Nathan Lewin, other than the real bad Yannick Weber goal, has been very good, a tip in, he's square, he's stick down, pads down, not much room. Here's Ennis and Ooh. Henrik. Twisting his left up. ankle. And here, just a second ago, making his way down the tunnel. Looked like just ever so slightly for a fraction of a second, his left ankle buckled. Yes. The got caught as he and Ennis got tangled up. It's been a large part of the season. And there goes Dr. Mike Wilkinson to check out the Canuck captain. Injury after injury, almost always to notable players. Yannick Hansen. In behind for Higgins, puck cleared to the corner. Kessler was waiting there. Lost control of the puck. Now he puts it in front, backhander by Higgins. Winds up in the corner. Kessler keeps after the puck. Hansen for Higgins, and that went off the stick of McBain. Canucks continuing to force the issue here. They've outshot Buffalo. Eight to two here in the second period and 23 to eight in the hockey game. Still only leading by one, but they'll be okay with that after falling behind two nothing early. Weber tips the puck to the bank of the blue line. Garrison plays it away from Conacher. And Richardson starts back for Vancouver on the right wing. Richardson backhands one through the goal center. Nobody there to tap it home. And Cody Hodson skates to center for Buffalo. Fighting off a check, he's able to dump the puck in behind the Vancouver goal. Eddie Lack out of his net. Thought about going one way, then threw it blindly the other. Sometimes that can result in issues, and the Sabres do hold the puck in. Long shot. Wide of the goal with Deloria looking for a deflection in front. Now a chance for Klim to unload. He elects to pass to the side. Ruedel drives one, and Lack got a piece of that. Matthias trying to defend without a stick. Now he retrieves his as Flynn passes down the boards for D'Agostini. He turns with a shot attempt that's off a leg and down to the Buffalo blue line. Talinder passes forward and Delorier backhands the puck into the Vancouver zone. 
2.40 to go in the second. Canucks leading 3-2. to two. DeLorean pass to the high slot. Ellis with a shot attempt and reaching in with Zach Cassian to deflect that puck out of play. James Daniel Murphy. Well, guys, do you know a child between the ages of 5 and 12 that's enrolled in hockey and exemplifies qualities of leadership and teamwork? Go to Canucks.com slash Safe and Fun to nominate them to be a Chevrolet Safe and Fun Hockey Ambassador. Sabres, a little pressure on that last shift. And they'll try to continue it with the face-off in the Vancouver zone. Ristolainen sends one towards the goal from a sharp angle. Eddie Lack held that up. And now David Booth skates through center on the right wing. Over the Buffalo line. Tried to drive towards the net, wound up going behind the goal. Sestito takes his pass. Forces the puck to the far side. Booth there. And here's Dalpy for Sestito. Making moves in the corner, pass in front for Booth, couldn't get a good shot away. John Scott winds up with the puck, he's bumped in. Sestito intercepts, centering pass, picked off by Ellis. And Matt Ellis skates back to center and shoots the puck into the Vancouver zone. The exit back, reverses for Stanton. Now a pass for Dalpy. Sestito tips the puck to the Buffalo blue line, Booth giving chase, but Stafford is there first, passing back to Jamie McVeigh. Sent back into the Buffalo end. Lewin steers it aside for McBain. Minute and a half to go in the second. And the man who opened the scoring, Tyler Ennis, sends a long one to center. Garrison checks Felina. Jensen plays the puck neatly to himself. Now tries to get around Weber. Jensen cutting it on goal. Stopped in tight by Lewin. And a penalty on the play. A tripping call to Buffalo. And a power play for the Canucks with a minute 16 to go in the second. Nick Jensen with a nice move at the blue line. He gets tangled up with the linesman. He goes around the defenseman and gets tangled up with the linesman. That held him back. And there's the trip by Weber as he tried to sweep the puck away from Nick Jensen. First power play of the game for the Canucks. They only needed one last game against Nashville. Canucks went one for one, getting the insurance goal from Alex Edlund. Canucks control off the draw. Weber on one point, Garrison on the other. Canucks starting with Kessler, Higgins, and Hansen. And Hansen has the puck to Jason Garrison. Back to Hansen, lets it go. Stopped by Lewin. And he smothers the puck for the whistle. Canucks with the man advantage, as always, the Canucks power play brought to you by Subway. Give in to the bold taste of barbecue pulled pork at Subway restaurants. Just five bucks for a six inch sandwich, but only for a limited time. Subway, eat fresh. Power play has goals in three straight games, and again, good puck movement, but the screen doesn't have time to get in front. Ryan Kessler goes by it, and Lewin sees it and makes the save. Final minute, second period. Canucks trying to make it a two-goal lead, but they'll have to start from their own zone as Christian Erhoff delivers the puck the length of the ice. Weber pressured by Tory Mitchell, but able to leave the puck behind the goal for Jason Garrison. Garrison, pass at center for Ryan Kessler. He's checked, but Garrison holds the puck into the right point. Felino was able to block his attempt to get it down the boards, but now Higgins finds Hansen in front. Kessler to Weber, he shoots, stopped by Lewin, rebound. Kessler couldn't get a stick on it. Puck still loose in front. Picked up and shot down the ice by Ristolainen. Yannick Weber can blast it. He's certainly a guy you'd like to have in that position, but Lewin came across to get in front of the shot. Here's a lead pass for Jensen who was trying to get loose, but picking it off was Rui. He dumps the puck the other way. And now just five seconds left in the period. Canucks will try one long, last, last long pass. Sabres thought it should have been icing. Play continues and the horn sounds. And Yannick Weber almost had his second of the period. He's got the go-ahead goal and almost made it 4-2 Vancouver. Right in the middle, 20 feet out, wide open, but Nathan Lewin saw it all the way, able to get the glove on it, and Ryan Kessler couldn't find the rebound. One of 27 shots that Nathan Lewin has faced as the Canucks have outshot Buffalo 27 to 10 thus far in the hockey game. We've got Don and Gary coming up with their thoughts on this evening so far in our second intermission, and more from the panel. Murph, Mack, and Ian, uh, Ed Willis, pardon me. Canucks lead at 3-2 after two. This period.
Brought to you by McCain's new four meat rising crust pizza. McCain, it's all good. Welcome back to Vancouver, home team up 3-2. Let's take a look at the scoring summaries brought to you by Panigal Pizza. Before, during, or after the game, get a fresh Panigal. It was 2-2 after the first. Buffalo jumped up to a 2-0 lead before Richardson and Matthias tied things up. And then the second, just one goal to speak of. That was scored by Yannick Weber. He now has four in the season, and the Canucks have a one-goal lead. All right. Brace yourselves, it's time for John Garrett's Fresh Tank, brought to you by Subway. Given to the bold taste of barbecue pulled pork at Subway restaurants. Just five bucks for a six-inch sandwich, but only for a limited time. Subway, eat fresh. It's fresh for Daniel Sedin after the Heritage Classic, the injury. Daniel's looked good in this game. He's had some chances, and he's looked very comfortable. No hesitation, good passes into the spots where he and Henrik could find each other, and... I think it, this looks more like the old Daniel. This pass through the skates, setting up Henrik, setting up Nick Jensen. That is a fresh Daniel Sedin. But on the night, the Canucks celebrated Henrik Sedin's 1,000th game, which was played last week in Winnipeg. They have lost Henrik Sedin to a second period injury. He has not reappeared here for the third. An apparent left ankle injury from our vantage point, and Ryan Kessler is out to center Daniel Sedin and Nicholas Jensen to start period three. Canucks on the power play for another... 25 seconds, Weber off for tripping, Edler with a blast, and stopped by Lewin, who hangs on for the whistle. Alex Edler getting that shot through. John, we talked about it last game, and during the season, his shot wasn't getting through. He was having the block, but he pulls it to the middle and finds a shooting lane, and I think that's a sign that Alex Edler is getting a little more confident. It's Dr. Mike Wilkinson is back in his seat after having a look at Henrik Sedin following that second period incident that appeared to cause his left ankle to buckle. Daniel moving to take this face off in place of Ryan Kessler. 22 seconds to go on the penalty to Mike Weber. Sabres win the draw. Ristolainen tips the puck back for Erhoff, who's able to slide it up the middle and down into the Vancouver zone. Time for one last foray up the ice for the Canucks. BX passes on to the left wing to Jensen. Pass for Daniel Sidney. Now the puck deflects to Jensen. Tried to work it to Kessler. Treves the puck back to Daniel over to BX. Now Edler. Penalty's over. Sabres back to full strength. Both teams are 0 for 1 on the power play. Kessler pulled down. Jensen gets the puck in the corner. Tried to go quickly back to BX. So that was broken up. And here's Brian Flynn skating to the Vancouver line and dumping the puck in behind the goal. A little over a minute in the third. The exit slowly ahead. Lost control of the puck, now just dumps it forward. Ennis takes it away. The exit being knocked down, but he's back on his feet to poke the puck forward. He's got a little giddy up here. I think he was upset about getting knocked down. Passes Hanson, wrist shot, stop, rebound, cleared to the side by McBain. He actually got up a little burn his saddle there, John. Well, Drew Stafford hit him a little late. I think it was late in Kevin's opinion anyway. Now Stafford goes down in an attempt to check Bieksa again. Puck is down the ice, and Bieksa heads to the bench. <laughs> Sabres clear to center. Han Hughes has the puck for the Canucks. Steps around Foligno, knocked to his knees, but able to risk the puck into the Buffalo zone. Lewin leaves behind the goal for McBain, who passes near side for Conacher. Puck got away from him, and Han Hughes risks it back into the Buffalo zone. Here's Hudson, and breaking in is Mitchell. Terrible pass, on an on-man rush. Sabres look like they're going to have a great opportunity, and Mitchell just threw the puck away. Cassie brings it forward for Vancouver. New career high for him with three points in this hockey game. He fights off a check. Centers for Booth. In on goal. He scores. The end of a long drought for David Booth. And a four-point game for Zach Cassian as the Canucks lead 4-2. Uh, Zach Cassian out of his own zone. And that's such a...
a valuable asset to have when you can carry it out of your own zone. And here comes Zach Cassie, out of his own zone, gives it to David Booth, and what have we said? Hit the net, right at the middle of the net. And that's David Booth, has missed the net so much with good chances. And this time, right in the middle of the net. Nice play by Cassie, and fight off the check, and David Booth snaps it right through Nathan Lewin. David Booth with his first goal since December the 17th. He'd gone 32 games without, but it ends right there. At 2.23 of the third as the Canucks take a two-goal lead over Buffalo with their fourth unanswered goal in this hockey game. 30th shot for the Canucks. Buffalo's had 10. Here's Kessler chasing after a puck in the Buffalo zone. Kessler double shifting here for the moment. Out with Higgins and Hanson. Puck loose at the side. Flynn gets it ahead for D'Agostini. And he plays chip and chase on Stanton, who is having none of that. And comes up with a puck for Vancouver. Almost overskated it. Now he leaves it on the sideboards for Ryan Kessler to bring ahead. Kessler chips it forward. Higgins couldn't quite knock it down. He would have been two on one with Jensen. Weber, round to the far side. Deloria. Dumps the puck to the banker of blue line. Garrison turns to look up ice. Pass to Nicholas Jensen. Tips the puck into Buffalo territory. McBain waits behind his goal. Three and a half into the third. Canucks leading four to two. Weber unloads the puck into the Vancouver zone. That'll be an icing call for a face-off in the Buffalo zone. Boy, Zach Cassian. And Ian and Ed were talking about it with Dan Murphy. The potential. There's a potential. Power forward. Fight off the check with one hand. Make the pass with the other. And David Booth cashes in. Loves playing his old team. <laughs> Six points in three games. Four of them here in this one. Dan Hamuse tied up in the corner. One on, one on, one on. To the other side, McCain backhands it ahead. John Scott couldn't corral it. Garrison threw a hard one across. That's off his stick and into the seats below us. On the whistle, we'll tell you about another winner on score and win. The latest provided by David Booth. And we congratulate on behalf of Safeway and Nabob Coffee from Delta. Carol Kickel, you've won a Garmin Nuvi GPS. Kel? Sounds good. I was wondering what, where Sean Mathias was on that last of David Booth playing with Cassian. Now Sean Mathias is taking Henrik Sedin's spot. So we'll likely see a number of different looks at center in the absence of the Canucks captain. No! Sixth longest Ironman streak in NHL history ended in January. The rib injury and now Another issue here tonight. We don't know if it'll cost him more than just this hockey game, but we don't expect Henrik Sedin to reappear as the Canucks go offside at the Buffalo Blue Line. Daniels back in, and this is what happened to his brother late in the second. And it was a, a harmless looking little play in behind the Sabres net. Tyler Ennis gets pushed and bounces off the boards, and you could see Henrik, uh, knee or ankle. Yeah, uh, it could have been either. Right? Yes, uh, left leg gets spun around. And, you can see him trying to shake it out, and it just, when he got to the bench, by the time he got to the bench, he was in trouble. Initially, I thought it was ankle, but you're right. As you look at it again, both in the way he was flexing it and in the way he grabbed with his leg when he got to the bench, it may well have been the knee jump. In any event, it's the left leg, we think, as Hanson feeds back to Hamhuis. Tried to find Kessler, that was out of his reach. And the puck is out to center, onto the stick of Yannick Hansen again. Higgins takes possession at his own blue line. Puck poked forward by Garrison, it's off his skate. Conacher trying to move it forward, here's Cody Hodson, checked by Garrison who played the puck to the side. Hodson gets it behind the Canuck goal, throws it in front, it comes back to the left point to Christian Erhoff. Erhoff. Decides again, shooting it towards the goal. Dumps the puck around. McBain tried to put one on it. That was blocked by Hanson. Tory Mitchell puts it onto the right wing for Conacher. 
Hodson. Checked by Garrison. Plays the puck around for Tom Sestito. Ahead to Kessler, and he gets it outside the line. Here's a wrist shot as Erhoff broke up the middle. That one sailed high and wide. Hanhuis winds up with a puck for Vancouver. Sestito trying to move it out now, following on is Cassian. Ahead to Sestito. Four Canucks on this rush. Here's Sestito centering for Dalpy. Reaching back, he couldn't get a shot away as he was checked by McBain. And back come the Sabres. Deloria in with a wrist shot. Glove by Eddie Lack. Couldn't squeeze it. He knocked it down. Flynn puts one through the slot and out the other side. Weber from the left point. Long shot. So Lack and rebound went off the side of the goal as Deloria tried to steer it on net. Pressure here from the Sabres. After the Canucks rushed up the ice, some guys who might have changed, notably Sestito and maybe Dalpy, have stayed out. And a little tired at the end of this shift. Here's a long shot, well wide, as Ruweedle pulled it off the target. Now the puck goes off a body in front and deflects over the glass for a whistle. Canucks will take that whistle. They've added a goal here in the third, and Eddie Lack is now working with a two-goal advantage. Upcard at Safeway today. Watch future sports in the telecast, and you could win a week of unlimited luxury at Dreams Resorts and Spas, courtesy of redtag.ca. John, I know what a Twitter guy you are. Eddie Lack tweeted a picture of his new glove. Well, here's Nicholas Delorier off that new glove. And obviously it's not quite as soft as his old one and had a little trouble handling that one. Icing against the Canucks. They'll face off again in the Vancouver zone. And uh, we can tell you about Blue Jays baseball. Jays heating up in spring training action and you can catch them tomorrow. 10 a.m. as they take on the Phillies. Jays 3-1 winners over the Yankees today. Mark Burley went six and a third strong, and they'll try to make another one tomorrow against the Phillies. When do they start next week? I think it's next weekend. Here's a lead pass to center. Hansen couldn't handle it. Ennis breaks in, cuts wide on the back end. Couldn't get it by Lack. Gets the puck again. Center. Stafford put it wide with Lack lunging to his left. Salinder holds the puck in. Ennis after it in the left wing corner. Hit the referees. He tried to get it around for Felino. Now Ennis from behind the net. Tyler Ennis, the hockey version. Checked. I bring that up because it's March Madness, Jim. Yes. Chris Higgins in for the Canucks. Down the left wing. Round behind the goal. Pass to Kessler in front, and Cassian couldn't make contact, looking for his fifth point of the game. Now a shot by Edler, steered to the corner. Kessler gets the puck on the right side, wrists one towards the net. Cassian picks up the puck in the corner once more. Zach Cassian finds his way to the right point. The extra winds up with the puck. Booth got a stick on that one, but couldn't pull it back into the net. Cassian again. Spinning to get away from Terlinder. Back to Edler. Tried to return the puck to Cassian. That was broken up by Felina. Puck back to center, wristed in by Edler. And both teams change in the neutral zone. Just past the eight minute mark, third period, 4-2 Canucks. David Booth, who has the latest Vancouver goal, trying to come up with a puck in the Buffalo Blue line. Chad Ruedel goes back for it and feeds across his own zone to Erhoff. He plays the puck forward, it deflects right to Brad Richardson. Garrison takes his pass, finds Hanhus. Ahead to Richardson, who plays the puck over the Buffalo Blue line. Bristolainen, too hot to handle for Conacher. And Nicholas Jensen goes rink wide for Sean Mathias. Working on Cody Hodson, who comes away with the puck and slides it forward, intercepted by Jensen. Ahead to Daniel Sedin. Plays the puck in behind the goal. Jensen there on Hodson again. Mathias trying to help out. Hodson winds up with the puck, checked by Mathias. Jensen swoops in after it and takes it back to the blue line. Weber with a drive and a right pad save by Lewin, who came out to challenge. Canucks send the puck around to Weber again. Try to get it in deep. That was blocked. And Rasmus Ristolainen sends it up the left wing to Conacher. He finds Mitchell back for Conacher. The right to Daniel Sedin, who skates back to center for Vancouver, sends the puck in and heads to the bench. Jamie McBain. Pass to Mike Weber. Now Delorier dumps the puck into the Vancouver zone. D'Agostini moves in. Bieksa plays the puck away from him. Sestito passes back to Bieksa, who starts out on the far side. 
Long pass ahead. Well judged by Dalpy. Gets by one saber. Now takes on McBain. Dalpy trying to shovel the puck for Sestito in the far corner. Bear check. Clearing attempt hit the official. Puck sent to the blue line. Read well by Edler. He gets away from DeLorean. Dalpy winds up with the puck. In deep for Sestito. Back for Zach Dalpy. Had to reach to grab that one. And McBain is able to come up with the puck and find Matt D'Agostini out to center for Nicholas Gloria, who plays the puck into the Vancouver zone. Again, both teams change on the fly as we move past the halfway mark of the third. Cassian tips the puck in for Booth to go after. Good hustle from the Canucks forward. And David Booth gets the puck back to Weber. Left point, Stanton with room. Back to Weber, lets it go, and that went off a body in front and wide of the goal. Scott drops the puck back to Tolinder, and he passes across his own zone to Ruedel, who gets the puck to center to Ellis, and he dumps it into the corner. Stanton for Vancouver. Shovels the puck ahead to David Booth. Cassian takes his pass and defers to Yannick Weber. Booth going to the net. Weber centers, and Booth couldn't get a shot away as he was being checked by Chad Ruedel. Richardson fights to hold the puck in the Buffalo zone. Under nine minutes to go in the third period. Fast-moving hockey game. And it began early, too. There's Booth with a shot. Sharp angle. Lewin had a little trouble with it. But he's got the puck. His team, though, on the wrong end of the score. Canucks leading 4-2. Want the chance to win prizes each month? Play Canucks Fantasy Hockey powered by Rogers and compete against other fans. Pick your players for each game, collect the most points each month by making good picks, and you could win a team signed jersey. And bragging rights, of course. Go to CanucksFantasyHockey.com today. Did you have a bunch of Calgary Flames? Yeah. <laughs> good night for that. <laughs> Let's go. Canucks have put up four in this one. On 32 shots, Higgins has the puck in the Buffalo zone. Carries all the way back to the blue line, tried to wrist one in front, that was blocked. And he's covering at center, knocks the puck away from Ennis, and the Sabres take control in their own zone. Eight and a half to go in the third. Rasmus wrist alignment to Tyler Ennis, elected to turn back at center, that might cause some trouble. Kessler through to Higgins, cutting in on goal, centers the puck, Jensen stuck by Lewin who came to his left, square to the shooter, made the save and held on. There's a good play all around. And Nick Jensen shooting the puck. Kessler, Chris Higgins to Jensen. And Ian and Ed were talking to Murph about how Jensen's not afraid to shoot the puck, and that was a good little pull drag. Now, who's this? Oh, happy birthday, Dad. Yes, there he is. Octanagerian plus one. I'll oh, let you now, it yes, out. You're, I'll challenging, let you it out. you're challenging me. <laughs> I did take Latin. I, I will let you know, I did take Latin. I probably didn't say it right. But happy birthday, Dad. And there are eight minutes to go. And McBean gets the puck ahead, Cody Hansen. 200th game for Hodgson tonight, 71 of them in a Vancouver uniform. He works his way on the right side, and that hit Lack either in the mask or the throat guard, and Eddie Lack able to cover the puck. I think it was off the throat guard, Eddie Lack giving Cody Hodgson nothing to shoot at. Hodgson goes around Alex Edler, gave him a little inside-outside, and a bad angle trying to get it up short side, but there was nothing there. Cody Hodson and uh, the situations you get to play on when you're on a bad team and uh, they're not very deep you get to play power plays and put up some offensive numbers here's Zach Cassian who's had a career night tipping the puck in Drew Weedle played it away from him, and Tolinder sends the puck out. Gloved down by Delorier. Now to D'Agostini, trying to move in. Puck came back to him, but was bouncing. Couldn't get a shot away as he was knocked to his knees. Stanton takes a hard hit from Delorier, but passes ahead to Booth. He can't move the puck out. D'Agostini checked by Weber. As he tried to get a chance in front. Stanton pulled down. Play goes on. And 
Cassian able to bring the puck up, send it ahead for David Booth. Booth stops behind the Buffalo goal, comes out front through the crease, and Cassian couldn't get his stick on the puck at the side of the goal. Takes a pass behind the net from Richardson. Cassian, one hand on the stick. Shades of Todd Bertuzzi. Passing on to the left side for Dan Hamhuse. Back for Cassian. Other side, Garrison with a shot and a blocker saved by Lewin. Another prominent shift for Cassian who heads off on a change as the Sabres get the puck out and it's played over the Vancouver Blue Line. Six and a half to go and Garrison wheels out with the puck. Pass to Delphi. Lost it in his skates and John Scott takes control for the Sabres. Wrist aligning to Erhoff. Ahead for Kanopka, who did well to track that puck and then wrist it in the Vancouver zone. The exit takes a look, brings it around for Jensen, who gets the puck out. Six minutes to go, third period. The exit breaks that one up, and Sestito swats the puck in behind the Sabres goal just before taking it from Zen and Kanopka. Sestito heading to the bench as the Sabres send the puck forward and it's deflected through. Lack couldn't cut it off above the goal line. The exit bumped by Scott. Able to work the puck to Jensen, though. He goes rink wide to Edler, who carries through center on the left wing. Edler with a wrist shot. And again, Lewin on a shot headed towards the five hole. A little trouble with it. Saw the goal from Weber, and then shots recently from Booth, and that one from Edler. Sabres have four into the Vancouver zone. Stafford with a shot, and Lack got a piece of that. Garrison intercepts. Brings the puck ahead. Gains the red and backhands it in. Canucks make a full change with just over five minutes to go in the third period. Here's Weber. Had room to skate, so he carried through, gained the red, and dumped the puck in. Daniel Sedin back in his own zone. Gets the puck ahead to Cassie. Matthias challenging to Linder. Cassian winds up with the puck on the left wing. Back to hand. He just puts it on goal, and Daniel Sedin tipped that one. Broke his stick, in fact. Tipped it over the glass for the whistle. Under five to go here at Rogers Arena. Check out our game summary. It's brought to you by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick for furniture, mattresses, appliances, and big screen TVs. 3.30 into the first period, it was 2-0 for Buffalo. And then the Canucks have absolutely taken over, especially Zach Cassian. The power forward has been the power forward in this one. Daniel back, Henrik gone. Cassian, the first Canuck since Henrik City in February of 2012 to record four assists in a hockey game. Still got time to add to it as well. Four and a half minutes to go. Higgins moves out with a pass across for Jensen. That's off a stick and into the seats for a whistle. Don't forget, right after this game, it's Don Taylor with Connected. He's got a preview. Ah, oh, thanks so much. Don't forget, after the Sabres and the Canucks, Gary Volk and I, as always, will have a full post-game show. Back we go to Rogers Arena. There's Nick Jensen and Christian Erhoff. Oh, it's a long year for Christian Erhoff. There was trade rumors. And if you look at this team, and trade away your franchise goalie, and Christian Erhoff's about the only guy back there. And tough to move because of the penalty that would be incurred at the end of the contract on a front-loaded deal for Christian Erhoff. He, I know he likes Buffalo, the city itself, and the fans. And if they rebuild around him he's going to be there long enough that the rebuild could possibly make the team decent but you look at their defense and uh, jamie mcbain and mike weber and henrik talender a guy guys that would be fifth and sixth on most other teams and playing in that three and four role airhoff out there with wrist alignment Ennis hooks the puck around for Ristolain. Stanton knocked it off his stick. Cassie tried to get it up the boards, blocked by Stafford. Stanton a chance to move it ahead, and he does to David Booth. Moving in on Airhoff. 
And fighting off a hook of Ristolainen, and Booth forces the puck to the corner, goes after it there. Jensen swoops in to pick it up to the blue line to be Exa, and he couldn't hold it onside. And look, dumps the puck back in. Nathan Lewin out of his net leaves for Ristolainen, who rings the puck around for Felino. He banks it forward for Ennis, who does well to get away from Matthias, sends the puck in front, that's broken up, and Jensen clears the zone. Drew Weedle risks the puck in off the end glass, and Bieksa collects it for the Canucks. Pass to Alex Edler. Nope. He sends the puck in as far as he possibly can. It's part of the MO for the Canucks right now, protecting a two-goal lead. Just over two and a half minutes to go. Jensen back to Bieksa. Hammers one towards the net. And Lewin steered that to the sideboards. Tori Mitchell leaves for Chad Ruweedle. Ahead for Hodgson, who backhands the puck to the side of the Vancouver goal. Lack there, leaves for Hansen around for Kessler to flex the puck out. Airhoff up the right wing to Hodgson. He sends one wide of the goal. Puck held in, Mitchell to the blue line. Airhoff, slap shot, tip, rebound, stopped by Lack, another chance, and Hodgson couldn't put it home. Looked like he had two cracks on the rebound in front. Back comes Kessler. Pass blocked, and the Sabres try to wheel back. With the Canucks changing. Hodgson's in, cuts to the middle, dishes off. Erhoff down the left wing. Christian Erhoff, round behind the goal. Tried to put the puck in front, that hit the back of the net. Lewin staying in the goal. Minute 40 to go, Sabres trailing by two, and the Eddie chance springs up here at Rogers Arena. Oh, that oh, puck man. came up and hit Zach Cassian as Delorier tried to chip it out. <laughs> First period, Zach left when he got hit across the nose. This time, same thing. This play stopped, and Cassian will head off to repairs. Buffalo had a great chance before that. Tipped. Eddie Lack makes the first save, second save, and then it's off the skate of Alex Edler. And half the net was empty. Zach Cassian heading right to the room. Here comes Dr. Mike again. That's too bad because Cassian most certainly, I'm sure, with you picking the stars here. They do throw my name on it, but we all know yes, you picked the stars. Uh, well, we had Will to help us in this one. Will Shorthouse? Will Shorthouse helped me pick the stars in this one. So we can blame him if there's any comments. Anyway, hopefully, there's lack stop stat shot from Brian Flynn. You hope they can patch Zach Cassian out so he can come do a curtain call. Canucks Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by Subway. Give in to the bold taste of barbecue pulled pork at Subway restaurants. Just $5 for a six-inch sandwich, but only for a limited time. Subway. Eat fresh. Uh, here's Zach Cassian, and, and would a visor have helped him? I think so. It's, I don't know. I think the visors are one of those things that every player should have on. Well, it would be the easiest thing in the world to grandfather. They wear yes. them in junior. Yes. <laughs> and then they take uh, yeah. them off. Anyway. There's Joe Sacco, the former coach of the Colorado Avalanche, who's the assistant to Ted Nolan, handling the bench. Sabres called a timeout, and they'll put the goalie on the bench. Offensive zone face off, go with six attackers. Don't you think Joe's more suited to this role? I think he is. I, I think he's more suited to being the assistant coach rather than the head coach. It, uh, less pressure and you get to be more one of the guys. And uh, I, I think he is better suited to that role. Although this Buffalo team is going to be a challenge for any coach. Minute 21 to go. Sabres pull the goalie. They trail by two. Richardson wins the faceoff. Edler gets the puck to the line. Higgins brings it forward. Empty net chance, and he missed, but he crossed center, so there's no icing. Ooh, Higgins got slashed there. He's checking his right hand out. This plate works its way the other way. Final minute of the hockey game. As the Sabres try to make it interesting. Ennis to the blue line to McBain. Left point, Airhoff. Dangling across, Ennis slams one wide of the goal. Puck ricochets to the left point. Airhoff hustles over to hold it in. He risks one towards the net. That went wide. 
40 seconds left. Sabres pressure. Erhoff to the side of the goal. Cody Hodson. Sharp angle test, and Eddie Lack handles that one and hangs on for the whistle with 32.2 on the clock. Good smart play by Chris Higgins to gain the red line, and he shot it wide. Sabres throw it around. Eddie Lack tight to the post. That's a key to that save. Get that right shoulder right up tight to the post. That Chris Higgins trying to shake that off. Talking to the referee as he goes by. Sabres leave the net empty. Stafford fighting for the puck off the draw. Garrison gets it behind the net to Hamhuis. He sends it around. And contacting McBain, so there'll be no icing. And Erhoff goes back with 20 seconds remaining. That was a good play by Sean Mathias. Tie up McBain. Kessler reaching for the puck of the Buffalo Blue Line. Tips it back in deep. 10 seconds to go. And fans saluting this effort. Tough start for the Canucks. Gave up a couple early ones, but they recovered beautifully. Outshot the Sabres 36 to 18, and in the process, win back-to-back -back games for the first time since late January as they double Buffalo 4 to 2. Well, Yannick Weber gets the winner on a long wrist shot that Nathan Lewin should have had, but it give Eddie Lack credit. Two of the first three shots go in, three and a half minutes into the game, and then you shut the door. Bounce back Lack been part of his resume and Eddie Lack evens his record at 14 14 and 4. Canucks take two at home now head off on the road. We'll be talking to you again from Minnesota later in the week. It'll been a while since the Canucks have won back to back games. They made it their mission to win this one for their captain who was saluted for his thousandth game. It didn't end well for Henrik Sedin but it did end well for his team. Weber the winner. Canucks take it 4-2. And again, we'll talk to you again Wednesday from Minnesota. Canucks win it 4-2. Connected is next.